Hello, my name is Greg Rickford. I'm the Minister of Indigenous Affairs Ontario. Indigenous communities continue to face unique challenges in the fight against COVID-19. From the very beginning, our government deployed significant resources to support Indigenous communities across the province in this fight. Several weeks ago, we provided immediate targeted support for remote and isolated communities to ensure critical supply chains and services were maintained in the far north. We continue to take a whole of government approach to ensure Indigenous people and their communities have the tools they need to fight this pandemic. Over the past several weeks, myself and my ministerial colleagues have put together a comprehensive emergency funding plan I'm announcing today. This funding includes $16.4 million from my Ministry of Indigenous Affairs to ensure that essential goods and services are safely transported to communities across the province who need it the most. This also includes funding for planning and construction of self-isolation facilities and financial support for community-led pandemic planning and response. The Ministry of Children, Community and Social Services is investing an additional $10 million directly to social and community agencies who provide critical supports to Indigenous children, families, and elders. To support Indigenous peoples living off reserve, the Ministry of Municipal Affairs and Housing is providing $7.4 million to critical housing programs to ensure people have a safe accommodation during the COVID-19 outbreak. And finally, the Ministry of Transportation has deployed an additional $4 million to Ontario's 26 remote airports to ensure enhanced health and safety procedures are in place to continue to provide vital supply and services and stop the spread of COVID-19. To echo Premier Ford, we will spare no expense to support the needs of Indigenous people in Ontario during these unprecedented times. During these uncertain times, it is critical we work together, and I'm working closely with my counterparts across all levels of government. We remain ready to take all necessary actions to combat COVID-19. We're all in this together. Thank you.